Hey you guys, I'm Roxanne Spee with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. Before I give the word of the Lord today, you guys know the drill. We're going to breathe in the Holy Spirit and we're going to breathe out anxiety, fear, flesh. Okay, breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. Okay, the word of the Lord today is, where are your works? Works need faith. Faith needs work. The Lord says in the word that your faith without works is dead. The Lord says the enemy has tried to beat you, to batter you, and to break you, especially in the area of your faith. The Lord says you have done well with rising up to fight the enemy, to combat him by taking every thought that doesn't line up with me or my word or my character captive and you bring it down into the obedience of Christ Jesus. You say, no, I am not nothing. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. And you change the narrative. You change the self-talk. The Lord says, encourage yourself in the Lord as King David did. When all looks bad, when you've raised up people around you and the enemy comes in and he seemingly gets a victory and everybody turns against you as they do and as they will. David encouraged himself in the Lord. He said, Lord, I know that I can fight this battle. He asked God for direction as you need to. Lord, do I go up and take them? Do I sneak attack and take them? King David is your person to look up to right now. He was so strong and running back to God the way I want you to be. Every time you don't see me, do something anyway, because your faith doesn't work with feelings. Feelings will negate your faith, says the Lord. Do you think I felt like going to the cross? Jesus says, do you think I felt like letting them spit on me and whip me and batter me and humiliate me? He says, I didn't feel like it. I was man and I was all God, but I did it and I did it for you. And I chose you and I set you apart. And I told the Father, Father, make us one as you and I are one. Father, bless them. Let them follow me in all that they do so the world can know that you sent me. Jesus says, as he glorified the Lord in his actions, so I want you to glorify me in your actions. I need you to hear what I'm saying. I need you to trust me above all else, above what you feel, above what you think, because I am that voice, this still small voice of the Lord, the Holy Spirit that speaks in between your busy thoughts, in between your fears, in between the betrayal, in the pain so bad you can't breathe. The Lord says, I know. For I am a God, I am a father and a friend who understands every liability, every pain, every sorrow, every suffering, every trauma that's holding you back, every memory that keeps creeping in when you don't want it. I understand because I suffered it, but I conquered death, hell, and the grave, and I did it for you. Rise up, pray, rise up, speak in tongues, says the Lord. Rise up and believe. And when you don't feel it, say, I believe anyway. When you don't feel it, quote the word as Jesus did. When he was tested and tried in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, when the enemy came at him and said something to him, Jesus simply and really slickly said, this is the word of the Lord. This is the way he didn't fight him. He didn't scream at him. He wasn't rebuking him. He just said, hey, this is what's up. Hey, this is fact. This is truth. And then he can't argue with truth. See, you're a praiser, says the Lord. And you've been trying to fight in a different way, wearing different weapons and different suits that don't fit you. The Lord says, I made you a praiser. So raise, raise a praise. I'm putting a new song in your mouth. Sing unto me. You're a worshiper. You worship me in spirit and in truth. Though the spirit is willing in you and the flesh is weak, do it anyway. Arise, warrior. Arise. You are my secret weapon. You have been fashioned and fit to go out and bring in the lost sheep. Jesus says, I need you. 
just as you are. For I am the shepherd that lays down his life for the sheep. I laid down my life for you. And if you were lost, I'd do it again. Go and gather the people around you. Have joy that shows I need the world to see that you are truly mine. Let the world see that I am good in you. Let the world see that I am loving. Check your fruit today. Do a fruit inspection, says the Lord. Am I not enough? Do I not love you enough? I'm setting you back on fire for your first love, says the Lord. For I was your first love and the world and the enemy beat it out of you. But you love me and I love you with an everlasting, undying, unquenching love. I run after you. I call you. You are my bride and I'm making you without spot or blemish. Trust in me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul and all your strength. And lean not on your own understanding. Why? Because the Lord says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. And my ways are not your ways. As the heavens are high above the earth, so are my ways high above yours. Stop trying to figure me out. As soon as you think you got me figured out, says the Lord, the season's already changing. But you have grown in your step. Your stature is getting bigger, just like the word says, as the Lord says, Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature, and he increased in favor with God and with man. So are you alike. I made you in my image, fearfully and wonderfully made. I know the very hairs on your head, they're numbered. I sing over you. I am so joyful when I see you awake in the morning. Your eyes are fixed on me as my eyes are fixed on you. Set your gaze on me. See the things of the spirit, the love and the joy and the peace and the patience and the goodness, the kindness, the gentleness and the self-control is where I live. The Lord says, go and help another today. He says, I challenge you. I set you on a path to go and prophesy. That's what you do, prophet. To go and build another. That's what you do, apostle. Go shepherd one, pastor. Go bring in the lost sheep evangelist and go teach my word and my love today. I am speaking to you because I called you and I chose you into the fivefold ministry. And I said, you're going to raise people. You're going to bring in the lost Because when Jesus ascended, he said, he gave some to be. The church is being founded and established once again on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And I'm talking to my apostle. I'm talking to my prophet. You have the mind of Christ. How do you hear me, you say? The Lord says, you say, well, how do I know it's you, Lord? The Lord says right now, what would you tell somebody else? How would you encourage them? What word would you give them? Give it to yourself. Listen, hear me with confidence and boldness, but this is where your faith has to match your works. If you're going to do it, you got to believe that I'm going to follow through because when you're telling someone something, when I'm speaking to you, they're ready to receive it. I've made sure you're ready to receive it. I have made sure the Lord of hosts has set you on high, high above the enemy where no foe can withstand. Ride out the waves of my glory because the waves of my glory is coming in and through you. My spirit's going to permeate and saturate and it's going to illuminate everywhere you go. People are going to be hit with the shadow of the spirit of the almighty God in you. Mm. The Lord says, thank you. And he loves you and he needs you. Rise up, rise up, rise up. All right, you guys, I stop when he stops. So if you have not yet signed up for the prophetic breakout session, please do. You guys, it's one session. The Lord is blowing our minds. He's telling people their calling, their next steps, their purpose is coming out. Their giftings are coming alive. Prophetic activation takes place. I am not telling you this as, as to be cheerful and hope for something. You hope and you know that this is going to happen. Guys, nobody else is offering this. The Holy Spirit's all over this. It's life-changing in 
one session, you will walk away amazed, delivered, healed, set free, and on fire with the Holy Ghost all over you, effective with results. All right, you guys, if you need to know how to do that, email me. The information's in the description. If you have not signed up or subscribed for this channel, if you have not hit the subscribe button, please do so. You guys, my channel's on a shadow block, a band. It's not getting out right now. It's the enemy coming against us. So share, 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 subscribe, please. Like this video. It helps you guys reach everybody else with the gospel of Jesus Christ. They need it just as you do. All right, you guys, keep commenting, keep commenting, keep building people up. You heard the Lord. All right, guys, if you have not yet sown or donated or given to this ministry and you feel led to, if it feeds you, then feed back so we can go and reach this nation. All right, you guys, the information's in the description for that too. I love you. Take care. I'll see you next time.